and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! purchases that time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via DHL Amazon UPS United States Postal Service FedEx and of course that old outlaw that cagey outlaw to the north Waylon Jennings and it is a big weekly purchases once again quite the week this week not a lot of stuff hitting stores quite yet but a few different things from different places all making one magical week as we do every single week in weekly purchases but of course we started off with some housekeeping and first housekeeping as usual patreon month of february the giveaway batman 66 mcfarlane batmobile batman and robin so if you want to get into that patreon giveaway hit up the old patreon link in the description down below follow the rules get involved in the giveaway over there Tons of videos, tons of content going over to the Patreon, of course, every single day, as you guys know. Lots of content over there, monthly Q&As, giveaways, pizza stuff, dog stuff. It's all over there in the old Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. So appreciate each and every one of you guys supporting the channel. Another one that's kind of a weekly purchase is, in a way, I did get through the door. And, of course, I'm going to be plugging this pretty much every video for quite some time, as you can imagine. Uh, but it is the Jax Classic Superstars book. The complete guide to the Jax Classic Superstars. Been talking about it for a long time. I did get my preview copy here today. So going through this thing, we're going to find out what all the fuss is about. And I already kind of know what the fuss is about. I wrote the book, after all. But it is a big, big book. As you can see here, that is a monster, monster book. So we got a lot going on inside of this book. There is a lot of pictures, a lot of detail, a lot of surprises in Jack's Classic Superstar. And like I said, that is a thick book. That's thicker than a telephone book these days. Beautiful cover. Of course, the old back cover. My boy Terry Funk repping everything at the top. You got the Ultimate Warrior down here as well. But coming very, very soon, working out some things. Obviously, a little sticker shock is going to be with this book as it is going to be fairly expensive. There's really no way around it. Of course, I'm not Stephen King. I can't get my books super cheap. It is a niche item, as you can imagine. Any of these guidebooks for action figures are niche items. But you do get what you pay for at the end of the day. But I am very happy to have this done, completed. It's one of those things, it's one of those goals in life. You put your head to something, you put your mind to something, you work on it, and you finish the project. You finish the story like a young Cody Rhodes is what you do. Uh, but much more on this, working on some price points. But I can tell you, I'm going to be making pennies on the dollar for this one. And that's just kind of the way it goes. At the end of the day, it's a good thing it's a labor of love. And I'm sure once we get everything rolling, I will do a video explaining it, talking the thought process, talking about what went into this. So stay tuned for that video in the future. But it is coming very, very real, as you can see right here. And I appreciate all you guys that are interested, all the support that you guys have been uh, giving me on this one. And a lot of you guys saying you're very happy and excited to see this one come to fruition so a lot more to come on the book as we get closer but as you can see it's a thick one it's a thick one so there it is but now let's dive into the week that was on the youtube channels and very wrestling heavy it was a wrestling week on kyle peterson the og channel you're watching on right now we did mlw boss fight series one we unboxed all those on the channel this week AEW Unmatched Series 8, a quick early look at those. I should have the rest of my set from ringside in the mail as we're uh, filming this video, so I should have that very soon. Uh, but that is coming. Uh, the Undertaker Monday Night Wars, we unboxed that one on the channel this week. Of course, just talked about Jack's Class Superstars. We did our weekly Jack's Class Superstars video every single Tuesday, and we're going to have videos every single Tuesday until I think the final week of December 2025. That's how far ahead I am on those videos. So you can see my hair grow different lengths throughout those videos. It's a wild scene. It's a wild scene. But every Tuesday, new Jack's Class Superstars video. We did do top five Paul Heyman figures of all time on the channel this week. Thursday tradition over there. Uh, we got to do a top 10 next week because we did hit 38,000 subscribers last week. Thanks to all of you guys that have subscribed and been subscribed, of course. We will do a top 10 next week. Looking at maybe possibly something Undertaker related. Oh, the dead man gets a little shine next week. We'll talk about that in Thursday's video early for Patreon, as we do know. 
Uh, big Rubber Guys, Sergeant Slaughter, Marty Jannetty, rocking and rolling, starting and strolling, and of course, Ric Flair. We unboxed all three of the new Big Rubber Guys on the channel this week. Check out those videos. A little wrestling adjacent, the wrestling skeleton Bone Salt. We unboxed him on the channel this week. Demolition, Epic Toys Demolition, Powers of Pain, maybe. Uh, that's been on Patreon for about a week now, so we will get that eventually on the traditional YouTube. Uh, we did get Demolition unboxed. Man, pretty cool. Zombies got competition, that's for sure. Uh, AEW acclaimed three pack, the ringside collectible exclusive. Of course, discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. Uh, we did unbox G.I. Joe Ultimate Doc, and of course, the 60th anniversary G.I. Joe Classified Diver. So, a little bit outside of wrestling this week uh, for a couple of videos, and G.I. Joe is the best thing that complements wrestling, if you ask me. Uh, Lily Munster as well from NECA, the final one from the Munsters trilogy from Rob Zombie. An interesting one. Check out that video. Also, on Monday this week, I did un I unboxed, eh, not really, Unleashed. How about that? Unleashed that. It was the Las Vegas video of my time. Uh, good brother Jeff George and I on our travel to Las Vegas, uh, kind of hobnobbing around Vegas. And then, of course, the John 5 show. See, Eagle Eye viewers, if you watch that, you can see where the roof caught on fire. It was almost like a great white incident all over again. Uh, but you can see some of that in the video where the roof almost caught on fire. Who knows? I could have been dead that day. You never know. You never know. But check out that if you did miss it. And then a pretty fun toy hunt this week. Back on home base. Back hunting the local grounds after a week away. What's new? What's changed? What crazy stuff did I find? Check out the toy hunt video. Uh, and then Kyle Peterson 2.0. Very Todd McFarlane heavy from the couch. Todd on the couch as we do know. Endless Winter. We did two videos on that. Built to build a figure. We did a gold label Robin. We unboxed that one on the channel. Two different Batman 66 videos this week. And then of course we did the Peacemaker Superpowers 3 pack. So coming up McFarlane over there on 2.0. We also did our Turtle Tuesday Super 7 Foot Soldier and Mythic Legions Legion Con exclusive Vorgus Vermilis. And we got some more Mythic Legions to unbox on 2.0. Stay tuned for those. Some more Gargoyles. Probably some Silver Hawks and a lot of McFarlane over there. On top of a lot of shorts and other things. So if you haven't subscribed to 2.0 yet, uh, head on over there. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel there. So that's the recap of the week that was a very busy week. If you guys knew what kind of week I had this week, you wouldn't believe I'm even here filming this stuff. Uh, it's been an all-timer of a week. Burning the candle at both ends and they're both burned out but i strive to survive like a young survivor series never give up never change never leave like a young rio that's what you do and now we turn our attention to the question of the week all right we got the question of the week right here and it comes from tom dobrowski 3694 shout out to tom i knew a tom that used to be involved with this very youtube channel he was a great guy one of the best guests you could ever have on a youtube channel but he has since retired sad days sad days come back I got a sticker project with Attorney. I'm going to need that Tom's help on. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I might have to settle for my wife. We'll see what happens. Uh, but the question of the week this week is a good one, an interesting one. Kyle, has having long hair and a beard ever affected your professional life? It seems like companies these days are a lot more tolerant of those type of things. You can never play for the Yankees, but you're an A's fan anyways. I love that little end there because Yankees, that was a big deal back in the day. And it's funny you say that. Now, my whole life, I've wanted long hair. I wanted a beard. And until COVID, I really never had that. Sometimes I'd have a little bit of a goatee going. There was a short instance where I had the Raleigh Fingers mustache uh, early on in my sales career. And there was a story about that and the reasons why and why that was successful. And I've told it once. I'll tell it again some other time. But I always wanted to have long hair once in my life before my hair eventually goes white and gray. I said, man, I just want long hair one time in my life. And COVID was the perfect opportunity for that. We were all stuck at home. I was on conference calls, things. And you got through that weird stage. You know, your hair gets a weird length. You power through that, and that's where I got. But I've worked in a business, uh, the retail business, grocery industry, grocery business, where facial hair and long hair extremely frowned upon. Tattoos, frowned upon. Piercing, frowned upon. You couldn't do any of that kind of stuff. And going back when I first started my career, I mean, it was as strict as strict could be. There was no way around that. So never had the opportunity. And then the industry I'm right now, Hair is, uh, they're very anti-hair. They hate hair. They love Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean's their favorite, I guess. Uh, but beard's not a thing, really. A little bit more acceptable. Long hair, not very acceptable. But as you said here in this comment, times have changed. It's a land of diversity. We all hear about diversity and work every single day. I understand it. I think they take a lot of things in diversity a little extreme sometimes. Um, one example is I sat on a two-hour conference call about Polynesian hair. 
<laughs> which I'm like, okay, I have to do this, whatever. But I don't come across very many Polynesians uh, in the Midwest. And when I do, I don't really talk about their hair with them, but it is what it is. So there's a little bit craziness. And I think we all agree there's a little craziness in some of uh, the, the far diversity things where we go a little bit far off the cliff, but it is what it is. But diversity, it's not just skin color. It's different thoughts. It's different beliefs. It's different experiences. It's different hair. So in this day and age, you got to be tolerant to this kind of stuff. And that's kind of where it goes from here. Not sure if I'm going to keep the long hair forever. Like I said, I was very uh, short hair for my whole life. That was kind of how it was. And COVID gave me an excuse to go long. Now people always say, man, don't ever cut your hair. And I can't even remember you. I can't even believe you having short hair. And I'm like, I had short hair my whole life until the last like three, four years, whatever it's been. So it's been wild, but diversity helping with this. And it does... Uh, it's not the weird, awkward stage, too. I think people would be more against it if it was there. But you never know. Things might change as we constantly get back to pre-COVID things. Uh, you never know. My hair might get chopped off one of these days. But a pretty good question right there. Uh, but I am enjoying long hair as I have it. I'm just slowly waiting for it to all turn white or gray. I'm sure that'll happen here in the next 10 years or so. We'll see what ends up happening there. So there it is, Tom. Shout out to you. Shout out to the question of the week. You want to be the question of the week next week? Put it in the comments down below. But now let's get down to it. Let's get down to the weekly purchases. All right, let's get down to the weekly purchases. We got a couple of rounds, two, maybe three rounds of weekly purchases this week and a very uh, diversified list here. It's all about diversity this week and this weekly purchases, and that's what we got here. We got diversity with toy lines. Uh, but I guess we'll go first. I already talked about it. Let's plug it again, the classic Superstars book. There it is. More soon on that, but I did get that through the mail uh, this week. There you go. Yesterday, to be exact. I uh, talked about those AEW figures. There's Penta. I guess this Malachi we had. I guess I had him for my glamour shot photos. Uh, Buddy Murphy and uh, Buddy Murphy. Buddy Matthews. How dare I? Buddy Matthews and Malachi Black. So we got the House of Black. We're building them out. Uh, I might even do a cut in in this weekly purchases of the other one. So we'll see what happens there. But we did get those through the door. But we weren't done. I did pick up a few NECA Toonie Terrors this week. The old Tar Man, Night of the Living Dead, an amazing, or the Return of the Living Dead, an amazing movie. One of my absolute favorites. Definitely worth a watch if you ever missed it. Uh, Vincent Price, of course, most well known from the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. That's where he was known for, of course. Uh, but we got two Toonie Terrors through the door. We'll unbox these two together. Of course, Kyle Peterson 2.0 special right there. Check that video out. And then it was all about clearance at Target this week. $7.49. I've never owned these. I remember them as a kid. I remember them now. I said, I'm going to unbox one of these and I'm going to truly see what all the fuss is about. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to find out what the fuss is about with this one. We'll unbox this on the channel. Stay tuned for that. And then the long game finally pays off. I've said I really want to collect this line, but I don't want to pay $9.99. I want cheaper. Well, that's exactly what I got. Mon or Genghis Frog right here. $2.99 on clearance at Target. Had to pick that bad boy up, but I wasn't done. Mondo Gecko, $2.99 at Target. Had to pick that one up. And then, of course, Scumbug picked him up for $2.99. So I still need to get Rocksteady, Bebop, Superfly, Leatherhead. Uh, hopefully I get those fairly soon. We'll see what ends up happening with those. But got those through the door this week. But we're not done. How about a little wrestling action here? I did get El Desperado. Of course, Storm Collectibles, Ringside Collectible Exclusive, Regular and Chase Edition. Got both versions here. Del Desperado, not one guy I really know. I know he does some commentary, I believe, for AEW, doesn't he? Uh, but it, very cool to get these Storm Collectibles. Looks like we're getting one a year. Can't wait to unbox this on the channel. We'll see what all the fuss is about. I am by no means an expert of the Desperado, but I love a Storm figure. I love a Storm wrestling figure, so very happy to get these through the door. So there it is. There's round one of weekly purchases. We'll be back with round number two. <clears throat> All right, we got a quick round for round number two, and I did just get this through the mail just now. WWE Mattel Official Retro 4-Pack. We already unboxed this on the channel. This is my Mint in Box copy right here. Big John and a stud. Sign me up. Wendy Richter, Muhammad Ali, and Hulk Hogan. Now I'm just waiting the ring, waiting for the ring. So hopefully sooner rather than later. I did talk about this. I did unbox this on the channel already. Monday Night Wars, Undertaker. Unbox that on the channel. Check out that video if you did miss it. I did pick up this. I saw this guy and he was on sale. I said, I'll grab another Chase Andre the Giant. You never know when it might come in handy. Grabbed him off the target pegs this week. And then big rubber guys. We talked about that. We got Sergeant Slaughter. 
We got Marty Jannetty rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling right there, Marty Jannetty. And then, of course, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Unboxed all three of those big rubber guys. Man, oh, man, I wish I would have bought extras. I could have sold them. They're going for like $500 on eBay. Absolutely ridiculous. Of course, the current ones are up for pre-order right now. You got a month pre-order. Have to imagine, eventually, people will get hip to that game. I'm sure there's a lot of people with the Magnum TA and Hacksaws are ordering abundance of those saying, oh, I'm going to make a fortune. Eventually, that'll uh, cap off. But, man, if you got these and you have them for sale, you're really flipping for some good money right there. Unfortunately for me, i got to keep them in my collection. You know me. I'm a big rubber guy fan. I'm a big fan of big guys, especially rubber ones. But there's round number two, a quick one. Let's move into round number three. All right, third and final round of weekly purchases here. And I mentioned this one e earlier as well. Action Sailor, 60th anniversary. Unbox that on the channel. Did find old DC McFarlane. Oh, Todd on the couch. Got Nightwing. Nightwing through the door this week. I'm here for that. Also found Owlman. Oh, he's an owl. He's a man. He's Owlman. Found him at Walmart as well. It's a little store exclusive there. Got him through the door. And then I grabbed this off Amazon. $12 playing that long game. Got the Whirly Bat. Superpowers vehicle here for Batman. Uh, cool enough, especially for 12 bucks. Not a bad deal right there. But we're not done. Got a heaviest of heavy hitter through the door this week. In anticipation for my Eternia, which I believe should show up next week. I did get shipping yesterday. Should be early next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly. Fingers crossed. All comes okay. A lot of nightmare stories with damaged packaging, damaged boxes. And Mattel just saying, meh, meh. It is what it is. Not good. Not good look, that's for sure. And they're going to hear about it if mine comes all banged up. So we'll see what ends up happening there. But I did get my King Gray Skull figure. Of course, uh, if you got in in the early bird, you got your Gray Skull. A very expensive figure. I think he's going for $250 plus right now. Man, oh man, I wish I had multiple Gray Skulls because that thing's like double plus money right now. Just absolutely crazy. And I think I said Gray Skull, I meant Eternia. You know what I meant. Uh, but Eternia, King Gray Skull right here. It is removable packaging. However, he does have twist ties and things like that in there. So I don't know what to do. I'm really torn. I feel like I shouldn't unbox this one, but we might have to do it for science. It's really a science channel at the end of the day, as we do know. And then we're not done with He-Man. I did get two of these in the mail this week here. Here's one right here, and then I got the second one. It is the Gary V. I think it's V Friends. Is it V Friends Gary V? I think that's what it is. Uh, but it is the V Friends Skeletor 2 pack. One of those sets I forgot all about, but very cool packaging design. Very cool for what it is. Not for everybody, I will say that, but very cool for what it is. I did get that through the door this week. Got the comic for it as well. And looking around, that is it for weekly purchases. A varied, diverse group for weekly purchases this week. A lot going on. Next week, it's all about Eternia. That should be the big pickup of the week. Not sure if anything else will come through. We'll see what ends up happening there. But that's going to be more than enough. That's going to be a work. And that's going to be a heck of an unboxing because I'm going to need a lot of room for that. Uh, we'll see how that ends up shaking out. Uh, hopefully my dad will come over and help me with the stickers. Stay tuned. It could be an all-timer video. We might be definitely off the rails. We'll see what ends up happening there. But that is weekly purchases. What are your weekly purchases? Let me know your thoughts and what you picked up in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget about question of the week. Put the question of the week in the comments below as well. Uh, and of course, don't forget about Patreon. We talked about the giveaway. Don't forget about the book. More to come on that very soon. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Always helps the channel when you give it the old thumbs up. Always helps the channel when you subscribe as well. And don't forget about 2.0 over there. A lot of crazy stuff going on over there. A lot of people missing out on some of those wild Todd McFarlane videos. But that's the way how the way it goes, I guess, at the end of the day. Like a young status quo. Throwing it back to album of the week uh, a week or so ago. Status quo. There you go. Uh, but that is weekly purchases. And of course, don't forget Patreon. Don't forget Pro Wrestling Tees. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe over there on Twitter. Or I guess the X these days. Still hard to get used to a little bit. Sir Paul 64 Kyle or the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and thread. So there it is. You know what I'm doing. I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling my way into another work week.